Okay, okay, okay. So I received this gimbal from a company called Hohem. It's called iStadium Mobile Plus Kit. So this comes with the ultra wide angle mode and magnetic fill light. So I guess that's the magnetic fill light on the top that it could be attached. It comes with an iSteady 7.0 stabilization. So 7.0, there seems to be a lot of upgrade that has happened in the past. 600 degree inception, intelligent tracking, which would be really cool. Uh, motor torques increased by 20% as well. So this is the first gimbal that I'm gonna review for my channel. I never actually had one, so I wanna really try out how cool these gimbals are. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Ah, let me pull it out. That's an all-in-one nice bag. And the moment of truth. Nice. Quick start guide. It's a simple diagram, pretty much self-explanatory. So this is the warning and disclaimer, specification, warranty, terms, USB-C cable. Nice little gimbal here. This is a low level, no height adjustable. We've got this really nice weight balanced gimbal look at that it's just moves around this is pretty much the um camera mount as well isn't it no friction of sound very smooth indeed another sort of mount and another sort of mount that you could put on a tripod if you look at the back side it shows that you can actually rotate it around like this you can actually adjust this to be sticking out or in the lighting unit itself well if we look at it it says m here because you can actually change the mode right so this is the default if you press once more it's actually yellowish this is brighter and default i think there's three mode but i guess you can actually adjust the brightness as well if you're not happy with it plus and minus as you can see yeah and if you want to turn it off, that's how you turn it off, okay? All right, so this button is not only for power on and off. If you press it for three seconds, if you press it once, it's when you actually initiate the recording or taking photos. If you press it twice, you actually swap it between using a singular camera or recording videos. If you press it three times, it actually changes the lens to front to back. So this button here is a toggle button, so you can actually manually move the movement. And if you were to press this one, that's when you can actually change to PF, PTF, L, and POV mode. And this one is where you actually zoom in and zoom out. If you go to the front, there's a T button here. If you actually press and hold, that's when it goes to sports mode. If you actually press once and hold, that's when it goes to the all lock mode. If you press it twice, is the recenter the gimbal. If you press it four times, is the ultra wide angle mode. And lastly, if you look at the sideways, it says DC in and out. So if you were to open it up here, there's the USB-C and a typical USB plug here as well. Cool, so I downloaded the app. So it actually detected the unit. So let's get it connected. So that's technically connected. It needs to be joined to the gimbal itself. All right, so I have to play around a bit, but I noticed that it was making a lot of beep sound because apparently I wasn't balancing well. So what I'm trying to do is put it onto the horizontal mount mode. And to be able to do that, you need to make sure you actually balance it up, okay? So this uh, screen, my phone needs to be flat down. So the way how you do this is like push it up on the actual joint of the mobile phone. And then you gotta also make sure it's horizontally um, balanced as well. So the way how you do this is the actual uh, tightness of the joint here, you need to pull it out and on. So if I were to do it this way, it's actually tilting this way, but if I were to slightly push it in, in uh, it's almost there, so let's push it out slightly. So I think that's it, so you just need to uh, tighten it up and lock it again so that's all ready to go as you can see so now let's turn on the power for three seconds and you can see that it's all good to go okay so we're actually on the main screen of the app which is really cool so there's a lot of things to go through so i was trying to do it as 
quick as possible. So on the top left, we've got the home button. Next to it is the focus mode. So if I actually press one, there's F, Z, and then another F. So um, I'm sure you know what to do. Next to it is whether you should flash or not, automatic. The other one is the um, filter mode. Now, next one is pretty cool. So you can actually do gesture control to shoot or not by using your gesture. I don't like to use that actually, but there's an option for there. Right below that, it's the auto or manual mode. So the auto is showing the ISO level shutter and also the EV level. The one below that is the video resolution, which is on 1080p and 30 frames per second. Now, this next one is one of my favorite actually is the um, tracking mode. So face tracking. As you can see, it's just following me around, which is pretty cool indeed. Um, and, you, and you can actually track an object as well. So if I were to click on that thing over there, I'm sure that's something that you can actually track as well. See, that's really cool. So you got to actually open up the window to let uh, it know what needs to be tracked. So now let's do the face tracking again. So that's pretty cool. Next to it is the settings. Uh, it shows the um, three lines on the bottom, app version, device name, serial number, firmware version, and the Bluetooth version as well. Above that is the gimbal, uh, all those things, which I'll sh show to you in a one by one. Working mode, follow speed, motor response, left, right joystick, um, left, right joystick reverse. Yeah, because you notice that it's actually reversed at the moment, you could adjust that. Joystick speed, up, down, joystick reverse, and you can actually customize as much as you can. Auto calibration as well, restore setting. If you actually click on the logo that looks like an Instagram, uh, you can actually choose the photo size, mirror selfie grid, center auto shoot, white balance, zoom speed, slow motion, uh, compatible mode and record capability mode as well, okay? So that's pretty much on it on this side. So if we were to go back to the other side, it shows the um, what sort of settings. So it shows the Bluetooth is connected. It's on the PF mode as quite rightly shown on the actual gimbal itself. It shows the battery level of the gimbal and also the battery level of my mobile phone, which is pretty low. Next to it is that you can actually reverse which camera you wanna use. Um, and then we got pano, photo, video, time lapse, slow motion, uh, moment as well. Okay, so let's try the actual buttons of the gimbal itself. So if I were to press the joystick up, uh, it goes down and reverse. So it's actually on the reverse at the moment, but because it's actually on the face tracking at the moment, it's automatically following me, but it just shows that you can actually tilt left and right, up and down as well all on reverse control. Um, if you were to press the actual uh, mode, so the PF, what I found out is the pan follow, okay? So at the moment it's only the pan following it uh, um, and so on. But if I were to change it to the uh, PTF now, that's actually the pan tilt follow as well, okay? So that seems to be the most um, following cool way of diverse way okay and then next one is lock which seems to be quite like it's going all the way through as you can see uh, so that's when you want to lock and so on to be more stable that's how i understand it next one is the uh, pov which is for point of view okay so let's go on to that and then if we were to press it for one two three you can see that is actually rotating into a certain uh, sort of thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is change the view and focus onto the camera. And let's press the record, shall we? Yeah, so you can see that it's actually doing the 360 uh, degree, no, 600 actually degree of rotation. So you can actually do zoom in and sort of zoom out as well if you want to. So that's how you can actually play around with it. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so on the zoom in and zoom out, if I were to zoom right in, you can see all my eyebrows as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you can zoom in, zoom out by pressing the T and W. And on the recording or the main power button, if I were to press it twice, you can see that it's actually changed on the photo mode. 
So it took a photo of me. Um, if I were to change it back to video, I just need to press twice again. So that's back to video. But if I were to um, reverse the actual camera itself, I just need to press it three times. So you can see the front of me, which is quite messy. But if I want to go back again, press three times. There you go. So it's back to the way how I want it to be. Okay. So this is the first time I actually have a gimbal for myself and I didn't realize that it has so many different functions. I actually looked it up on uh, online and YouTube. Apparently the um, iSteady Mobile Plus by Hohem has an excellent review um, and you can see why because even though I move my head, uh, my smartphone technically through the gimbal is tracking me down. It's kind of eerie feeling, you know, it feels like my mobile phone is suddenly alive thanks to the gimbal itself. So you can do a lot of clever things with it, especially let's say if I were to do some product review like this robot here, I could actually then focus on and then make my head move so that the camera uh, movement looks so cool as well. So live streaming, outdoor recording and etc. This will be perfect. So I'm really grateful that I actually have this great gimbal from a company called Hohem. So I hope this video helped you understand how cool uh, the iSteady uh, Mobile Plus is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.